Hello everyone, welcome back to The Greatest. If you're new here, hi, I'm Cherry, and this channel is about success-driven tools and strategies for new bloggers to achieve clarity and focus. Today's video is about how to make money on Pinterest without a blog. If you already have a blog set up, feel free to check out my previous videos about how to set up Pinterest and how to optimize your profile to get more page views and clicks. I will have all the links in the description. Meanwhile, what if you're not sure if blogging is really for you, but you're open to exploring other ways to make money online? This is where Pinterest comes in. Unlike social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Pinterest works as a search engine like Google. So let me show you how it works. So today we're going to use the Pinterest profile of my homeschooling blog. Here it is. Okay. So when I choose a pin like this one, all right, so here's a close up. And then click the image. There you go. The user, the Pinterest user, will be redirected to my blog post, which brings a lot of opportunities for my blog. Uh, number one, of course, I get web page views. All right. Number two, the user gets a copy of my free printables, which means I get a new email subscriber. So for instance, the user scrolls down on my blog post right here and then clicks this or this, he or she can get my free printables in exchange for you know an email address. Yeah, so that way I can grow my email list. And then lastly, the Pinterest user can explore my blog or my website in its entirety, which can also be a sales opportunity for my blog and reduce my bounce rate. All right, so there you go. So let's say um, the user scrolls down and finds this related post, reasons not to homeschool, and clicks this. He or she will be redirected to another uh, blog post there. Okay, but like I said in the title, what if you don't have a blog yet? How do you use Pinterest to make money online? So here are the most common ways that you can do to make money off of it. Number one, of course, offer Pinterest management services. My blog, The Greatest Digital Creatives, has been <laughs> the Robin to my Batman. I know it's cliche, but the blog has helped me tremendously when it comes to offering freelance services. So right now, Pinterest management is very common among bloggers offering free freelance services like myself. And if you are a virtual assistant or a social media manager, you should definitely add Pinterest management among your services. A lot of bloggers, old and new, swear by the power of Pinterest in growing their blogging business. And if you think this is something you're really good at, there are bloggers out there who are always on the lookout in hiring Pinterest managers to help them. So aside from services, number two is affiliate marketing. If this is your first time to hear about affiliate marketing, I will put a link in the description below, which will give you everything you need to know to get started. But basically, it's like promoting products in exchange for commission. Others even call it um, influencer marketing. So here's how it works. Assuming the Pinterest profile doesn't have a blog connected to it, like this one. Assuming we don't have you know, a blog here, just a, a Pinterest account for homeschooling. And I just want to sell you know, affiliate products in this niche. So the first thing that I need to do is to look for affiliate programs. So I'm going to open a new tab and search on Google. 
affiliate programs for home schooling. And there you go. So as you can see, Google is telling us that there are, here are the top 10 affiliate program, programs that you can um, sign up. There's the Seven Sisters and others. These companies sell um, ebooks, they sell subscription boxes, sometimes they also sell um, homeschool supplies, more like um, Amazon. So let's say, for example, we click this the Seven Sisters Homeschool Affiliate Program. Okay, so as you can see, the company is offering an affiliate program there. And you need to sign up first. And once you are approved, you just log in and you already have access to all the products they offer. And you'll be given a specific um, link, an affiliate link. And what you do is you go back to Pinterest. For example, this one, this pin. We will use it for an affiliate link. So click this icon to edit the pin. Change the website URL. Turn it into your affiliate link and then click save. So every time someone clicks this image and clicks the URL, they will be redirected to your affiliate program or products. And once they hit purchase, then you get a commission. So there. Now, please note, though, that not all affiliate programs accept, you know, influencers that don't have blogs or new bloggers. There are instances when companies are already looking for established bloggers already, meaning someone who has thousands of followers on social media and having thousands of page views per month. But it doesn't mean that affiliate program will not work with you anymore because there are affiliate programs who accept newbie bloggers and even those who don't have a blog yet. And I will have also the list in the description of um, what companies they are. Okay. Next is number three. We have print on demand. Now, print on demand is something I considered to start in the future. But if you have a talent in designing t-shirts, mugs, caps, and sweaters, you name it, you can look for print on demand platforms like Redbubble to start your business. And if you want to know more about print on demand, how it works and how you make money off of it, um, look for this YouTube channel. It's called Wholesale Ted. There. I'll also have her link in the description. She will teach you everything you need to know about print on demand. So even if you don't have a blog, you can still make money off of your Pinterest account. So again, what are you going to do? Like assuming you have um, a print on demand account with Redbubble, you're selling t-shirts. So you create a pin, um, a Pinterest pin with your t-shirt design. So let's Let's try to look for a t-shirt here. There you go. All right, so assuming you created this t-shirt design and it is now available on your print on demand what uh, site like this so when someone clicks the image he or she will be redirected to a website on where to buy this particular t-shirt like this okay like this and then you they just simply add to cart process the payment and there you go you have a sale so what if you're not really comfortable of starting your own uh, print on demand business there are companies who also have affiliate programs for their products. 
So please do check those out. Again, if you want to know more about this kind of business, go to her channel. Again, that's Wholesale Ted, and I'll have her link in the description, okay? Next, number four. So aside from print on demand, you can also sell your own products. So again, you don't have a blog, assuming you don't have a blog, but use social media to sell your products like on Facebook and Instagram. So let me close this, close this, and go back to Pinterest. All right, so let's try to um, let's look for another product here. All right, something like this. So assuming you are a seller of skirts, like something like this. So again, you can always upload an image like this on your Pinterest profile, then edit the um edit the pin and then copy and paste the url in this case your it's either your facebook page or your instagram account this is what i like about pinterest because you can link it to almost everywhere to websites to blogs to your facebook account um, youtube everything Therefore, if you have other platforms where you have your a business, an online business, it is easier for you to reach a wider audience with the help of Pinterest, especially if your target audience are women between the ages of 21 to 35 years old and US-based. So there. All right, so let us wrap up again. There, here are the ways for you to make money off of your Pinterest account, even without a blog. So number one is to offer Pinterest management services. Number two is affiliate marketing. Three, print on demand. And number four, selling your own products. So there you have it. Let me know if you have questions about Pinterest. Um, feel free to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I always post videos about blogging, Pinterest management, and WordPress development. So if this is something that you are interested in, or if this is something that you want to, that you think uh, your company needs help with, then feel free to comment and I'll get back to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye!